morning everyone my name is Carla and you have reached my floss tube channel Carla being crafty where I talk about mostly cross stitch but also other crafts that I enjoy and a little bit of life thrown in and um, today is Sunday it is September 5th it's our first video in September so welcome to September everybody um, if this is your first time uh, finding my channel I hope that you like what you see and want to hit like and subscribe. Welcome. Um, I do a video every Sunday um, unless there's very unusual circumstances, but um, it is my floss tube job. <laughs> um, I don't consider it a job. I think it's really fun and I'm glad that I started doing this a little over two years ago. I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so if that happens uh, on camera, please excuse me. Um, so... Um, this is floss tube number 107. I don't think I said that yet. Um, I did say welcome if you're new and if you are a returning subscriber, a viewer, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming to share this time with me. Um, it is kind of hot here today in Southern California. We had a really strange weather all week. It was all muggy and um, it got high like in the 80s, but all day it was like just muggy and overcast all week. And then yesterday and today it is very bright and sunny and hot um and i was at my brother's this weekend so um i got back this morning and of course since i wasn't here for a day my apartment was like so hot and stuffy um so when i was getting ready this morning i actually went for a little tank top which i don't normally wear on camera um you know too much arms and stuff but uh I just couldn't, I, I couldn't put on any more clothes this morning. It was just too hot. Um, so we are uh, having a three-day weekend here in um, the U.S. Uh, Monday is Labor Day. And um, tomorrow is Labor Day. And so it is a day off of work, which I am really, really looking forward to. Um, excuse me. I guess the sneeze decided to be a nose runny instead. <laughs> um... So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to having an extra day off to relax and do chores, uh, you know. But you guys should know me by now that doing chores is this much and the relaxing is this much um, because <laughs> I work hard enough during the week that when I'm home and alone in my apartment with Baggy, who was just here a few seconds ago. Oh, he's overeating now. I'm not bugging me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I use that time to relax and stitch and try and recharge. So, um, as I said, it's September. So the first thing let's do is um, do the ceremony switch ceremonial switching out of the uh, year celebrations. Um, so this is, was my August one that I did modify. Um, the original pattern has like a picnic blanket and ants all over it. I took the picnic blanket out and put in a birthday cake instead for my birthday and then because there was no picnic blanket it didn't make sense really to have ants so i just changed those all to little flowers um so i made that my own um so this is september i also modified this just a bit um i took out some of the references to like school um i mean i left the owl in because he's really cute and the books because i like books um i left the apple uh because it's very fall and it's also um a symbol of uh, Rosh Hashanah, which actually is uh, Tuesday this um, this year. It starts tomorrow night, and um, which is the Jewish New Year. Um, <clears throat> so I changed it a little bit for September, but um, pretty much left it. I changed the word. I changed it to crisp for like crisp apples and crisp air, which I hope we get instead of muggy hot air. Um, and uh, so that's my September. So that will go up behind me when my video is done. Okay, so I don't have a lot of life stuff to tell you today. Um, actually, my brother, uh, everybody uh, send out good wishes. Whatever your good luck vibes are, please send those out to my brother. He is playing in a poker tournament today. He left um, his house very early. Um, I usually, when I leave on Sunday mornings, I'm up before anybody um, to get on the road to get home so I can do my video, etc. Oh, here's the baggie. Um, okay, come on. Come on. You 
you want to say hi? You want to say hi to the video? Okay, you say hi to the video. You, you say hi to the video. Okay, you're gonna make my little white tank top all black hair filled. Um, anyway, so normally I get up and I don't really see anybody on Sunday mornings. Occasionally, uh, my brother gets up around the same time, but you know, it depends. Um, he has to get up to walk the dogs and um, set out the medication for their older son and stuff like that. Um, but uh, normally I don't really see anybody on Sunday mornings when I leave. There he goes. <laughs> I guess he just needs to make his presence known. Um, but anyway, this morning he was actually up way early um, and walking around and took the dogs out early and gave them their breakfast because he is, as I said, playing in a poker tournament today um, down, um, it's called the Ocean's Eleven Casino and I think it's kind of down towards San Diego. It's kind of a little bit past them, a little bit more south than them, um, but not very far at all. Um, my brother used to play in poker tournaments all the time before he met Stacy, um, before he got married. And then when he met her, she never really played poker before, but he introduced her to casino poker and they both played, um, they used to go, you know, for fun to go to the casino. Um, I don't know that Stacy's ever played in a tournament. She just likes table games. Um, but my brother has played in a couple tournaments and um, he won third place in one. Um, it was a small tournament um, and he won third. Um, so he did really well. Um, and he's been kind of um, practicing for the last couple months because Stacy said as soon as things lightened up for her, she would be happy to have him go for the whole day and do a tournament. And because this is a three day weekend, it's the perfect time. Her work has slowed down enough so that she's still super busy during the week, but she's able to have a little bit of a weekend, which is nice. And um, so yeah, so he went this morning. He was very excited all weekend. Um, and uh, so he's there. I don't know what time it starts. It probably just started. Maybe well, maybe he's an hour into it now. I think it started maybe at 9 or 9.30. Um, so I hope he does really well. Um, he's a pretty good poker player. He's very, very cerebral about it. I mean, he just it's right up his alley and his, his type of personality. So, um, you know, send out all the good wishes and hope that my brother does really well because I know that that would just tickle him. Aside from the fact that, you know, it's nice to win some money, um, he, it would just thrill him. He said his, his goal today is to have to fill out a tax form <laughs> because you have to do it right away if you have any kind of a winning in a tournament. So you take half of it right off the top. Um, so yeah, uh, I, as I said, I was over at their house this weekend. Um, we went swimming yesterday. Actually, Erin and I took the kids to the pool and let Stacy have a very rare hour to herself, which uh, for her, you know, I mean, for us, it was like no big deal to do that. But for her, it was like the greatest gift because honestly, um, as much as she loves her children and anybody who is a parent can understand this, I'm sure, as much as she loves her children, Stacy <coughs> works from home and homeschools her kids. And for the last like year and a half, she has never had a moment of privacy. I mean, you know, she goes to the bathroom, her kids go in there, she goes into her room, her kids come barging in. I mean, she just doesn't have any, any, any time to herself. Um, it's so rare, uh, you know, and it used to be, you know, that um, she could take a little bit more time. Um, <clears throat> the kids had more outside the house activities that would happen and she could coordinate to have it all happening kind of at one time. Um, that doesn't really happen anymore because of the pandemic. So although things are starting kind of to get a little bit more um, where they're doing stuff, we still have to be careful because of the Delta variant and the two younger kids, of course, are not old enough to be vaccinated yet. So that private time is just, is just so rare and so precious. So um, she did ask if we minded yesterday to let her be at home alone for an hour. And of course we did, it was fun. Erin and I take the kids down to the pool and we played in the pool for an hour. Um, and she was able to just sit by herself with the dogs and watch some TV, whatever TV was floating her boat. She didn't have to like 
you know, accommodate anybody else's wishes and she stitched, which was, you know, I am so happy that she was able to do that. So I'm glad that I was able to help a little bit with that. Um, that is also why um, my bright hair is looking pretty, um, let's use the word pastel instead of faded, um, because I just didn't want to like do it in the past week and half knowing that I was going to go to the pool this week because you know, the corn in the sun just like strips the color right out. So that just seemed not, uh, not a wise, uh, um, use of my time or my expensive hair color. So, um, I've let it get pastel and, uh, tomorrow it will be bright and, um, peacock beautiful again. <laughs> so next week you guys will see me with the bright hair again, instead of the, um, the pastel hair. Um, okay, uh, another fun thing to show you guys, um, uh, as I said last week, Reagan has kind of really gotten into this, this, um, loom stuff. I don't know exactly what it's called, the bracelet loom or, I don't know. But anyway, she made me a bunch of bracelets, um, and then she asked me very kindly if, um, I would be willing to show them on her channel, and of course, um, I want to. So, this is the first one she made me actually last time I was over, um. So she made one that was, you know, purple and pinks because we know these are colors that I love. Um, and I want to figure out a way that I can maybe use them as hair ties um, without ripping out my hair. So I have to see if that will work. She made this pretty one, which I don't know why this reminds me of like college colors or something. I mean, not my college, but... Although maybe it was. Now that I think about it, blue and gold were the colors of my college. So maybe that's why it looks so much like college to me. And then this one, I just think is really cool. She made it with these clear, clear bands and then just put the green and purple beads. And then this one she did while we were playing D&D. &D, and um, she just asked me, you know, pick a bunch of colors and I picked four colors and they went really well together. So she's a, she's been experimenting with colors and with different techniques and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So this is her new little artistic endeavor and it's kind of cool, kind of cool. So they make cute little bracelets. Artie family, if you weren't aware. All right. Um, the other thing that I just want to talk to you guys about somewhat briefly before I get into the stitching and the fun crafty stuff. Um, I mentioned last week about doing uh, Zoom meetups with any of you guys that are interested. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. There seemed to be like a really um, nice response. Um, obviously people are scattered all over the country, all over the world. And so, um, times I pick may not work for everybody. Um, I will try and see if I get doing it more often that if I can move them around so that more people have the opportunity to join, um, whatever. Right now it's going to be a trial type thing. Um, I am having a little bit of trouble upgrading my, um, Zoom account to, um, the, the paid account so that the meeting will not cut off after 45 minutes, which they do if you have a free account. Um, and that's really not enough time to get anything started. So, um, so yeah, so I'm trying to do that. I've been, I've tried for the last like three or four days and you know, I get all my information in and I get to the point where it's just supposed to go through and it just says, please wait and then doesn't do anything. So I put in a call this morning to their customer service and <laughs> waited for 20 minutes to get put to an answering service, but they did take my name and number and hopefully I will get that worked out before um, it's time to actually do the Zoom. So um, this is what I've decided to do. I think for the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on a Sunday afternoon my time. So I think I'm gonna do it on, um, we're gonna try it on Sunday the 26th, September 26th, which would be in um, three weeks, three weeks from today. Um, and I'm going to do it at from 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific time. 
Now, um, how I, I'm going to do the, the, uh, meeting ID and password. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys to, and I don't have it set up yet, as I said, because I don't have the Zoom Pro yet, but, um, you can go ahead and message me now, whatever, you won't get an answer back until I can get it set up. Um, I'm going to ask you guys, if you want to join the Zoom, to message me, do a private message to me on Instagram. Um, I think most people have either have Instagram already or have access to open an Instagram account. If you don't want to be on Instagram, you can open a private account and nobody can see you. Um, it's fun to scroll and I just don't want to, I don't want to put uh, login, ID and password and stuff out publicly um, just to keep the online experience a little bit more safe and a little bit more private. Um, I'm not going to screen anybody who messages me, um, but uh, I mean, for the most part, because I can recognize most of you guys, um, but um, that's how I'm going to do it. So if that's a problem, you can always like send me an email, um, but I really don't even want to send them out on email. I want it to be just one way, one may, way of me doing it. Um, I don't want this to become a chore for me. I want it to be a fun experience for me and for you guys. So, um, I think the way to do that and be able to accommodate the most people is to just pick one method of giving out those numbers. So, um, so as I said, if you message me on Instagram, um, then I will send out the numbers to you when, um, I have them which will hopefully be this week. Um, and again, the meeting is going to be on the 26th, Sunday the 26th from 2 to 4 Pacific time or 2 to 30. You know, if we're having fun, we're having fun. Um, anyway, so if you have any questions, uh, you can comment below or you can send me a message on Instagram. However, um, yeah, so that's, that's what my plan is and we will try it and see how it goes. Um, and I hope it's fun. I don't know that, as I said, it's not something I'm going to be able to do like, you know, every week or every other week, but you know, maybe we can get it done to once a month. And as I said, maybe I will be able to move it around, have some in the evenings, um, during the week or, you know, maybe late on a Saturday night or something like that. Um, so that I can accommodate people who are maybe even, you know, in Australia or other sides of the world because I know that there's people who watch my channel from everywhere so um so I'm gonna try um I'm gonna try and do that um but the first one has to be the first one and I might as well do it uh, at a time that's really really easy for me um so I hope that uh I hope you guys are excited about it um I'm looking forward to it and uh I'm looking forward to seeing all of your bright faces you know for some of you for the first time um so I think that will be fun um, if there's any changes, obviously I have two more videos before that is going to happen. Um, so we can discuss it if there's any changes, but that's the plan for now. And, um, and please go ahead and, and message me on Instagram. Um, while we're talking about Instagram, Facebook, that kind of thing, I have gotten friend requests on Facebook. Um, and I have, um, I don't know that I necessarily declined anybody, but I have not, uh, accepted them only because I kind of want to keep Facebook not necessarily in the stitchy community. I mean, I watch you guys and everything. And if you post on there, I don't go on Facebook very often. I'll be a hundred percent honest. I, I, I go on it, check like if anybody in my life or my theater community has posted anything. And then I usually log off. I don't scroll on Instagram hardly at all. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, my Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> um, I, I know this is crazy to say for somebody who does YouTube videos, but I don't, I don't really love social media. I love when it can connect us with communities. Like, you know, I like, I mean, Instagram for me right now is pretty much all stitching. That's the only things I watch. I have a couple friends on there who are from theater from, you know, from growing up or whatever, but, um, but mostly it's stitching and that's who I follow and that's what I watch and that's what I go on there to scroll and see stitching stuff. 
um, and Facebook is kind of like more not stitching people um, but I don't do either very much um, so if you do message me or friend me on or try and friend me on Facebook and you don't get a response that's why I'm just trying to keep things separate and I, I don't post any stitching stuff really on Facebook so um, so if you've tried to friend me on Facebook and I didn't respond go ahead and, and follow me on Instagram and message me there okay so I think that's about it as far as all of the preamble to showing you stuff which oh goodness it's been 20 minutes I thought this was gonna be a short video I guess it's not <laughs> oh well it's gonna get hot in here too so because I turned the air off because it's very loud when I'm doing a video so if I start to get all glowy that's why um, okay, so let's go into my whips. I do not have any new starts or finishes this week, uh, which should be no surprise. Um, but guess what? I brought out a diamond painting this week. Um, and if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you will recognize this because I was working on this last fall. Um, kind of trying to get it done before the Halloween season and, to, and failed. And so I put it away. Um, so I pulled it out again and I was actually surprised at how far I had gotten before I put it away. I thought I was like halfway done, but I'm like almost done with this. Um, this cute little Halloween kitten. Um, so all I have to do is just this little section right here. So I hope that I can work on it a couple times and get it done. Um, I think that this is like super, super adorable. I got it so long ago, I couldn't even tell you where I got it. Probably from AliExpress or, or uh, it was New Frog at the time. I don't think it's that anymore. Um, I'm sure it's a stolen image because I didn't know any better back then. Um, and diamond paintings are notorious unless you get it from, there's a couple reputable companies. Everybody else, you know, all of the, the tiny ones, they're, they're stolen images. Um, this... Aside from the fact that it's adorable, this is a, a not fun diamond painting to work on. It's square diamonds. Um, it is not good quality. They pop. They fall off. Every time I pick it up, I have to go and look and see where there's holes. Like there's one right there. Um, there's one right here. So I have to go and fill in all the holes of the diamonds that fell off. Um, so I'm just waiting to when I can get it done. And then I'm going to seal it with a, a Mod Podge kind of thing. Um, I take Mod Podge and I, I thin it out a lot and then squish it on there and then it holds everything in and it's still, it's still sparkly even when you do that. So anyway, so I got pretty far on it actually, um, last year and then I finished this little section this past week and oh my God. Okay. I finished it and can you see all the holes in it now? It's terrible. All of those diamonds fell out over the week. Oh God. And that's just so frustrating. So anyway, I'm going to have to get it done and then sealed because it's just going to be frustrating. And until that happens. Okay. So time the painting happens. Okay. Other than that, um, I worked on actually, a lot of projects this week and I pulled out all of my my fall ones that I showed you guys last week so this is Leela's studio All Hallows Eve I'm doing this in a sal with uh, Amy Sprinklestein stitches and um, Glennis uh, Fever Dreams is joining us I know that I did the cat this week. And started, you know, this part down here. I did it while watching the most recent episodes of Grace and Frankie, which is only four. And I guess the rest of the final season is going to come out next year. Worked on. Speaking of All Hallows Eve, one in place All Hallows Eve, which I don't have the picture. Um, 
readily available, but oh well. Um, I worked on this little picture. So I got much further on the bats in the belfry picture. Um, I had said before that uh, I was using this piece. This is, I started this very early in my stitching career. Um, and I was using, I'm using it as kind of like a sampler to try out different flosses and stuff. Um, a lot of the flosses I've, I've worked with now, um, but what I've done is, um, I haven't pulled all the threads. I, I just pull them as I go to a new picture. I go and pull the colors. And, you know, I'm trying to use the call for, but if I don't have them, I'm substituting. Um, I actually substituted in this uh, uh, using a etoile for the little eyes because I thought it would just add a little bit more sparkle. And um, I actually doubled it up too. So I used uh, four strands on those eyes because I really wanted them to pop out. I am on that one. This is on a picture of this plus jewel fabric. The original, the model was stitched kind of like on a gray, and um, I really like it on the bright color. Uh, <clears throat> okay, going in place. I'm not going in place, I'm sorry, the gathering place. Night creatures. And I know I showed you last week how I had pulled out a bunch of stitches in the moon. Um, and so I put stitches back into the moon. So I haven't finished it, but I put most of the stitches back. <clears throat> and then I, I pulled down some stuff down here. And Oh, and I don't, did, I don't know if I had both of these pods done last week, but this is on a Bestitch Me Lugana in Sleet, and it is an opalescent. It has baggy hairs all over the back of it. I really, and I said this before, Cat hair is just a specialty fiber <laughs> on my projects. If they're going uh, outside of my house, I make sure to thoroughly like lint roll and clean the project because obviously I know other people don't want cat hair on their stuff. I don't want cat hair on my stuff when it's hanging up either. But while I'm working on it, they definitely have cat hair on them. Um, This is my filigree pumpkin that I am, <clears throat> this is on a piece of heart anger that I dyed. This is actually like a gold, like, so the heart anger was this gold color and then I dyed over it with an orange and a little bit of a red is in here as well. Um, and then the pumpkin I'm stitching with a B5200 and blending filament to give it a little bit of sparkle. Kind of subtle, but I think it's going to be really, really pretty when it's done. Maybe I'll make it into just like a little cushion or something. I don't know. <clears throat> this is the project I took over to Erin and Stacy's this weekend. This is Ink Circles, um, Fireburn and Cauldron Bubble which as my brother pointed out is Shakespeare from Macbeth, I believe. And worked on this a little bit while we were playing d and I uh, finished, I had a big long string of green attached to the project, so I finished out that. And then I brought, uh, then I worked a little bit with the orange doing this, this cauldron. 
So I didn't put in that many stitches on this, but I still think it's looking pretty good. I have to decide what I'm gonna work on today. I don't often stitch a lot on Sundays because I'm so um, caught up with uh, doing the video and uploading the video and all that kind of stuff and I'm often tired on Sundays. Um, tomorrow I'm planning on getting a lot of stitching done. So um, I don't know, I might give like a couple different projects a couple hours so that I get a bunch of stuff done, I don't know. Um, I haven't decided yet. And then I did do a little bit more on Bellatrix. I just love her. She's so pretty. Um, and as I showed you last week, I kind of got her face and hair done. And so I moved down and was working more on her skirt again. And this is the top of the slit where her leg is going to come out. Isn't she pretty? So pretty. Okay. And that's it. That's all my stitching for the week. But that was quite a bit, don't you think? I mean, I didn't get a ton done on each project, but yeah, I got, I got enough done to be content with this week's progress. Okay, and I have a little bit of haul to show you, which I haven't even taken out of package yet, so we're gonna be seeing it together for the first time here. Um, and I have to give credit to um, Gail Phillips for, she showed these on her channel, and I was like, I didn't even know it was a thing. So this is from an Etsy shop called Fairy Dust Clay. Um, what's that? I don't know if that's, doesn't look like it wants to focus. Okay, but Fairy Dust Clay. Um, and so they're, they're um, polymer clay flat backs. Now, I didn't realize even that there, but there's like a whole market of flat backs on Etsy. And they call them like bow, like even her little baggie here. Um, I guess a lot of people make bows and then they put these in the middle of bows. But, I mean, obviously, they are perfect to make needle minders out of. There we go, here it is clay on Etsy. Um, they're perfect to make needle minders and if you already have the magnets like I do, I have a ton, and a bottle of E6000, um, then you can go and make a bunch of needle minders and depending on how thick they are which I'm not sure yet because I haven't pulled them out they may not all be great for putting the needle on the top but I often use the back magnet as where I hold my needle when I put my project away anyway um, but I use needle minders not just for holding the needle I use them for holding the piece of pattern on I use them for anchoring um, flapping material you know like the corners and stuff um, so that's my groceries. Um, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this video now, which is not my favorite thing to do. Oh, well, <laughs> I was expecting I'd be done before uh, the groceries got delivered because they always get delivered late. And this time they got delivered really early. Oh, well. Um, so I was talking about needle minders. Um, I do not just use them for holding on needles. I use them for all kinds of things, for anchoring patterns and anchoring uh, the flappy corners of the fabric that are outside my hoop. And on top of that, I just like having a cute little thing on my project. Um, so yeah, so I ordered um, these little flat backs and then I'm going to glue some heavy duty magnets on them. Um, and uh, I ordered several. I ordered enough to get free shipping because if I'm going to order on Etsy, I'm going to order enough to get free shipping. That's just how it is. I don't want to pay shipping 
if I can avoid it. And um, yeah, and then she said an extra as a gift. So this is a little extra, it's a little cactus girl. So that one's like totally cute. Okay, then um, this one I got as a gift for Stacy. Um, she is freaking adorable. Okay, so Stacy, and you know, I'm gonna go ahead and um, see if I can take these out of the plastic because that way you'll be able to see them better. So sorry if it's crinkly. I personally don't mind crinkles, but I know a lot of people don't like it. Um, Stacy, one of her childhood um, favorite things is strawberry shortcake. So I got her a strawberry shortcake. Isn't she cute? So they're, you can see how big they are. They're not insubstantial in size. So, um, you know, they will need a big magnet, but, um, and I don't know how well they're gonna hold a needle, but I don't care because they're just so cute. Okay, so that's a strawberry shortcake for Stacy. Um, she had all of these, um, like Disney princess uh, themed ones. And so like it would kind of be like the same style but different Disney princesses. Um, and she also had a lot of Disney princess mermaids and also Disney villain mermaids. So I got a Snow White mermaid with the little apple. My mom really likes Snow White. Um, then I got a Wonder Woman because I like Wonder Woman. I've always liked Wonder Woman. And when I watched uh, cartoons with my brother when we were kids, we used to watch the um, the uh, Super Friends. <laughs> so I got Wonder Woman, and I dressed up as Wonder Woman for Halloween one year. Then I got another mermaid, and I actually got a Little Mermaid mermaid, Ariel, because I liked her red hair, and I like that she's holding a flounder. Then I got a little sparkly unicorn because it's cute. It's very cute. This little horn. And saving the best for last. I had to get this one because guess why? It's the baggie. It's a baggy on a pumpkin. Ooh. I would have been really sad if I dropped that and it broke. Okay, so those were my flat back polymer clay thingies <laughs> that I'm going to turn into needle minders. And I would be lying if I didn't say that since I bought these, I've been back on the site and um, I may buy more. Not right away, but I just, I don't know. They're just so cute. I want to see how they work as far as ne being a needle minder first. Let me put the magnets on them and then, um, and then we'll see. Um, they are big enough that I might want to put two magnets on them. Um, but just a little tip, which I wouldn't have even thought about this. Um, but uh, Julie from um, Stitching at the Cabin uh, had a really big thing that she had her husband make into a needle minder. And I guess when he first did it, he put two magnets on it, like top and bottom. But he didn't check the polarity and they were opposite polarity, which you can't do. They have to be the same 
going the same way um, because she said she put the needle on it and because it was opposite polarity it the needle would like flap you know so she put you can put it on like you can put the needle on like that because it was opposite polarity so you put it on and the needle would like um, so you need to check that if you put more than one magnet on to make sure that the polarity is correct <laughs> Um, okay, so that was all my plans, uh, all my haul. Um, that's all I got this week. Uh, plans, you know, it's just continue more of the same. Um, work on the projects that, that basically the projects that you saw today. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit on Kitty Magic. Maybe I'll little, do a little on Lavender Roses. But basically, it's the ones that I showed you today that I'm going to be working on. Um, and, uh... Tomorrow, as I said, is a holiday here in the U.S., so I will be at home um, stitching, and um, my groceries just came, so I'm going to be making my favorite taco, my low-carb taco soup. Um, it's absolutely delicious. It's in the Instant Pot. If anybody's interested, let me know, because <laughs> it's, like, the best. Um, I actually have the, mess the recipe, like, basically memorized, because um, it's one of those, like, 10-minute to prep it and then it goes in the Instant Pot, and you ignore it until it's done, and then you eat it, and that's it. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that probably tonight. If not tonight, then tomorrow, definitely. And um, yeah, and then Tuesday uh, is Rosh Hashanah. Um, I have not been very observant uh, in the last several years. I don't belong to a temple anymore. Um, and I kind of feel, I feel like it's disingenuous for me to take the day off to observe a religious holiday when I'm really not going and observing it. So I will still go to work, but um, it is Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year, Shana Torah, um, which means good year. Uh, in Jewish tradition, we, we wish everybody to have a sweet new year. Um, we eat apples and honey um, to signify the new year and the sweetness that we hope to have in the new year. Um, so I wish all that for you guys. So sh Shana Tova to you. And um, it's uh, it's the new, the turning of the Jewish calendar. Um, which I guess is the same as the year for the Western calendar, but this is the, the Hebrew calendar. Um, and what else? That's it. That's it. Um, I am going to have to edit this video. I just looked and it's like eight minutes and oh yeah, I, I stopped it. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, if you are here in the US and are so, uh, able to celebrate Labor Day, I hope you have a fun day off, either doing fun stuff or relaxing or, or whatever, whatever floats your boat. I hope that's what happens. Um, I hope you get lots of fun stitchy time in. Um, I hope that you're able to relax. I hope that if you're a parent and you are always around your kids, you get a few minutes to yourself like Stacy did this week. And, um, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Um, and until I see you guys again, please remember to be content, be kind, and be crafty. This is Carla. Bye-bye.